Siguradong marami sa inyo ang nakapunta na sa monumento ng sikat na asong si Hachiko sa Shibuya Crossing sa Tokyo, Japan. May ilan pang ang nag-share ng litrato sa amin para i-flex ang kanilang kuha kasama si Hachiko, ang asong matyagang naghintay sa pagbabalik ng kanyang kumanaw na amo sa loob ng sampung taon. Tila ba family pet ng lahat sa mga hindi na mabilang na litrato. Sa kanyang ikaisandaang kaarawan, sinundan ko ang kwento ni Hachiko mula Tokyo hanggang sa Akita Prefecture kung saan siya ipinanganak. Marami pa pala tayong hindi alam tungkol sa asong nagpaiyak sa ating lahat. Sa kagustuhang balikan ang nakaraan ni Hachiko, nakarating kami sa Odate City sa Akita Prefecture. Sakto naman na naghanda ng malaking selebrasyon ng syudad para sa 100th birthday ni Hachiko nitong November 10. Nagtipon-tipon ang buong komunidad at mga bisita mula sa iba't ibang syudad. Samot saring mga paninda at souvenir items na may imahe ni Hachiko ang mabibili. Mala fiesta rin dahil sa dami ng pagkain na pwedeng matikman. Ohayou gozaimasu! Bongga ang programa para sa birthday ng sikat na aso. Ilang kilalang personalidad ang nagsidating. Kabilang ang mayor ng Shibuya at Odate City. Naroon din ang mga opisyal ng Hachiko Preservation Society ng Shibuya at Odate City. First of all, as you may know, Hachiko is indeed a globally famous dog. However, I felt that not many people are aware that Hachiko was born here in Odate and that he is of the Akita breed. The goal is to make people around the world more aware of Hachiko and in turn introduce them to Odate through this project. I would like to continue growing this project to achieve that purpose. May celebration din sa Akita Dog Visitor Center sa Odate. Akita Inu ang klase ng breed ni Hachiko. Kaya naman may monumento rin siya rito na inalaya ng bulaklak. Dito ko unang nakita si Rayosako Saito, apo ng orihinal na may-ari kay Hachiko. Siya ang nakatatandang nagsabit ng bulaklak dito. Sa mismong programa, kinantahan at inalaya ng birthday cake si Hachi. Nagpasikat din ang isang kalahi niya para maipakita ang ganda at talino ng pure Akita Inu breed. Kabilang sa dumalo ang dalawang apo ni Hirokichi Saito ang nagsulat ng artikulo tungkol kay Hachiko na naging dahilan ng pagsikat ng aso. Sumunod naming pinuntahan ang bahay kung saan ipinanganak si Hachiko noong 1923. Malamig ang panahon at umaambon pa pero hindi nagpapigil ang mga nagpapahalaga sa kanyang alaala.
Pinatuloy kami ni Mr. Saito sa kanyang bahay para pagkwentuhan si Hachiko. Sabi niya, iba na ang bahay pero dito rin sa lugar na ito, ipinanganak si Hachi. Within a thatched roof house, the current setting is here and the toilet is on the opposite side of this table. So, both humans and horses coexisted in a somewhat unconventional lifestyle among the rice straw, hay, and such stored for feeding animals. Utilizing straw and various materials, we arranged a clean space to serve as a bed where Hachiko's mother gave birth. Hachiko got his name from Professor Ueno, and at home, there are four puppies born. We simply call one of him Aka due to his red fur. Ipinakita ni Mr. Saito sa amin ang litrato ng lolo niya na isang veterinarian na pinakaunang fur dad ng pamilya ni Hachiko. I assume that when my father was born, Hachi being around three years old, he probably didn't know much about him. And my grandfather was well acquainted with Hachiko. He is a veterinarian and he works from a branch located in the neighboring city which is part of the network of branches associated with his medical practice, not officially a breeder. It was more like a second job for him, involving breeding. Mula sa Odete City, dinala ang isang tuta na nooy wala pang pangalan sa Tokyo para ibigay kay Professor Hide Saburo Ueno. Mr. Korita, a former student of Professor Ueno, used to work at Akita Prefecture. During his time there, he visited his workplace and stayed with his grandfather for a while. They got to know each other, and as a result, Mr. Kirita became acquainted with Professor Ueno. Subsequently, expressing the desire to adopt a dog, he decided to bring one home. In reality, we had no prior chance, and I'm not entirely sure to mention this, but Hachiko was actually sold to Professor Ueno. You see, my family was involved in that business, and that's my assumption. It turns out that my family had a good friendship with Professor Ueno. Kwento ni Mr. Saito, nagpatuloy ang pag-aalaga nila ng bloodline na pinagmula ni Hachiko hanggang sa maubos ito noong 1989. Pero sa dinami-rami raw ng asong na alagaan ng kanilang pamilya, pinaka-espesyal si Hachiko. Mr. Kurita actually has kept the letter that states Hachiko came from my mother, providing evidence that Hachiko was born in this house. It's a source of honor that Hachiko was born in this place and from our family. Hachiko's fame, the care people have shown towards him, akin to Professor Ueno and his family, and his status as a hero are truly remarkable. Those who wrote about Hachi played a significant role in making Hachiko widely known. And I'm sincerely grateful for being connected with Hachiko. Sa Tokyo, may isa pang monumento si Hachiko kasama ang kanyang human na si Professor Ueno. Sa tagpong sumisimbolo raw sa kanilang muling pagkikita. Matatagpuan ito sa The University of Tokyo, Faculty of Agriculture, kung saan nagturo ang propesor. Ayon kay Professor Masaro Mizuguchi, pagpapahalaga rin ito sa mga kontribusyon ni Professor Ueno sa Japan bilang isang agricultural scientist. Yeah, according to the story, uh... Hachiko uh, came to the house of Professor Ueno uh, in uh, January in 1924. And, and uh, firstly, the Hachi uh, was uh, weak, not, not, not so strong body. He has not so strong body, mm -hmm. so uh, always Professor Ueno uh, was taking care of Hachi's health, mm -hmm. and sometimes uh, almost every night uh, Professor Ueno hold Hachi mm -hmm. 
and sleep together on the futon bed, Japanese bed. So oh, I hear, I, I heard the Professor Ueno is always uh, ta uh, taking care of uh, Hachi very much. Hachi ang ipinangalan ni Professor Ueno sa alaga. Ang kahulugan sa kanilang lengguahe, number 8. Isa raw suwerteng numero. Sa Ueno Park sa Tokyo, pinuntahan ko rin ang National Museum of Nature and Science kung saan nakaharap ko mismo ang nakapreserbang katawan ni Hachi. I'm Sandra from Eyewitness. I'm Kojira Harada. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, this is Hachi? Yes, this is Hachi. <laughs> Sa mga nakakakilala kay Hachiko mula sa pelikula o pictures sa internet, iba ang pakiramdam na makita ang aktual na nakatayong imahe na ito. Ang nakakatawa sa museum na to, parang makikita mo si Hachi nung nabubuhay pa siya noong 1920s hanggang 1930s. Dahil yung hugis ng katawan niya at saka yung balahibo na to, ito talaga yon. Dahil malapit lang ang bahay sa Shibuya Station, madalas daw ipinapasyal ni Professor Weno ang alaga sa lugar, lalo na kapag walang pasok sa universidad. Pero isang araw noong May 1925, habang nagtuturo sa klase, pumanaw si Professor Weno dahil sa cerebral hemorrhage. At si Hachi naghintay sa amo na hindi na dumating. Sa ilang litrato ni Hachiko, makikitang nakatiklop ang kaliwantengan nito matapos umanong mapaaway sa ibang aso. I heard uh, that uh, left, left ear was bite uh, by a wild dog. After Professor Uena passed away, passed away. Uh, Hachiko uh, went to other owners. At that time, a uh, wild dog bite his ear. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why the ear is uh, down. Sa mga sumunod na mga taon matapos pumanaw si Professor Ueno, naging stray dog si Hachiko. Naging malupit ang ilan para sa isang asong biglang nawalan ng pamilya. Some children uh, hit Hachiko, Hachiko and uh, some uh, draw, draw something on the face. On his face. Yeah. Oh. So always uh, Hachiko was mischieved uh, by other people. By other people. Pero sa museum na ito, nakatayo ang tenga niya dahil gusto raw nilang ipakita ang dignidad ni Hachi bilang isang purong Akita dog. Makikita rin dito ang orihinal na harness kung saan nakaukit ang pangalang Hachi. Nakasulat naman sa metal plate ang pangalan at address ni Kikusaburo Kobayashi, ang hardinero ng pamilya Weno na kalaunang kumupkop sa aso. Base sa kwento, kahit meron namang umampun kay Hachi, naglalagi pa rin ito sa palibot ng Shibuya Station na tila ba mahinihintay. Noong 1932 o pitong taon matapos pumanaw si Professor Weno, lumabas sa isang dyaryo ang kwento ni Hachi at doon nagsimula ang pagsikat niya. Kumbaga, nag-viral si Hachi. I believe that Shibuya wasn't particularly famous during the Showa era in the 10s and 20s. 
Hachiko's story gained attention in the newspapers, gradually becoming more widely known, and that's when Hachiko's popularity increased. Ang artikulo na naipublish sa dyaryong Asahi Shimbun ay naglalaman ng detalye ukol sa isang aso na pagalagala sa Shibuya Station dahil naghihintay sa pagbabalik ng kanyang amo. Maraming nakisimpatya at humanga rito. In the Akita Prefecture, uh, post some opinion to the uh, Asahi Asaki Shimbun, the newspapers, his post about uh, Hachi uh, activity. When you go to Shibuya Station, uh, sometimes uh, you can find, uh, you can see the uh, oh, big dog. That dog's owner was a, a Professor Ueno. And uh, that, that dog, every day, uh, was waiting Professor Ueno that he didn't know the professor passed away. But uh, every day, uh, that uh, big dog uh, was waiting. Kapansin-pansing, maraming litrato si Hachiko noong mga panahon na ito. kasama ang iba't ibang taong nabubuhay noon. Sa bahaging ito rin ng kanyang buhay, nadagdag ang ko sa dulo ng kanyang pangalan. Kaya naging Hachiko, tanda raw ito ng respeto ng publiko sa kanya. ang popularidad na ito nananatili hanggang ngayon. Iba't ibang lahi nga ang nakita ko nakapila para makalapit sa monumento ni Hachiko sa Shibuya. Siguro nabasa nyo rin yung kwento niya. Familiar kayo? Nakakaiyang po yung story. Loyal. Loyal dog siya. Loyal dog. Tsaka gusto ko talaga yung story niya kasi nakakaiyang. Every time na pinapanood ko. Nakakaiyak. 1934, itinayo ang pinakaunang estatwa ni Hachiko sa Shibuya Station. Buhay pa si Hachiko noon, kaya nakadalo pa siya sa event. Pero hindi ito ang kasalukuyang bronze statue na nakadisplay sa Shibuya. Birthday ni Hachiko ngayon! At dito sa Tokyo, makikita nyo naman... Pinipilahan talaga itong pinakasikat na monumento niya. Pero nalaman ko na hindi pala yan yung pinakaunang monumento niya. Dahil yung pinakauna ay kailangang tunawin nung panahon ng gera. During the World War II, the Japan, Japanese military needs metal. So first statue was oh, taken. March 8, 1935, natagpo ang wala ng buhay si Hachi sa isang kalye sa Shibuya. Sa imaheng ito, makikita ang partner ni Professor Weno na si Yaike Sakano na nagbigay pugay sa asong minsang naging parte ng kanilang buhay. Kasama niyang nagluksa ang ilang staff ng Shibuya Station. Nailathala sa mga pahayaga ng kanyang pagpanaw at sinasabing nasa dalawang libong tao ang dumating para magpaalam sa kanya. Sa ilang lumang larawan, makikita rin marami ang nag-alay ng bulaklak. Natapos na ang mahabang paghihintay ni Hachi. At sa lugar na binalik-balikan niya hanggang siya ay mamatay, Patuloy na nabubuhay ang kanyang alaala. -ala. 1948, matapos ang World War II, itinayo ang Hachiko Monument na nakikita natin ngayon. Gawa ito ng anak ng sculptor na gumawa ng unang monumento. The son of the sculptor who created it the first time also crafted the second Hachiko. 
The son was about 20 or 21 years old at the time. After I became involved with the Hachiko statue, I developed a close relationship with the teacher who created the second generation. When I mentioned that he crafted the second generation, I'm referring to the teacher who created the Hachiko bronze statue. I heard that he melted down another statue he had made and used it for the Hachiko bronze statue. Malapit dito, makikita ang malaking tarpaulin na nagpapaalala sa kanyang 100th birthday. Bida rin siya sa mural na ito. Dahil nga sa popularidad ni Hachiko, maging ilan sa kanyang internal organs, naka-display sa museum na ito sa The University of Tokyo Yayoi Campus. Narito rin ang isang journal tungkol sa obserbasyon ng sumuri sa katawan ni Hachiko. Marahil lahat tayo nais malaman ang dahilan ng kanyang pagpanaw. And the liver. And the spleen. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a uh, oh, bamboo stick. <laughs> but later on, there was another study that says it was because of cancer. One professor uh, was asked to check the, some DNA series. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, at that time, he found the cancer cell. Mm -hmm. So he conclude that there is uh, Hachiko uh, died by uh, suffering from the cancer. So it's like he had a, he had sticks in his um, stomach, but that was not the cause of death, <laughs> right? Yeah. He died of another reason. Another disease. Dito sa Ayoyama Cemetery, merong nakalibing na mga prominenteng tao. At sa dyan, si Professor Weno. Pero syempre, hindi mawawala si Hachiko, di ba? Kaya merong shrine dito. Ang hindi ko inaasahang madatnan, itong happy birthday message na iniwan marahil ng bisitang nauna sa akin. Happy birthday, Hachi! Dito kahit paano'y magkasama si Hachi at ang profesor. Dahil magkatabing magkatabi talaga ang puntod ni Professor Wedo at Shrine ni Hachi. Sa sandaling inilagi ko rito, ilang tagahanga ni Hachi ko ang nakita kong dumalaw. Merong mga dayuhan at meron ding hapon. Si Taka Furukawa, ilang beses na raw dumalaw rito. Why are you visiting the, the oh. shrine of Hachiko? I, I don't know, but I, uh, we, I love Hachi, Hachi Hachiko-san, mm -hmm. for quite a long time. It's such a touching story. Mm -hmm. Even after the death of his uh, father or master, he kept visiting Shibuya Station mm -hmm. every day until he passed away. So mm -hmm. that's a touching story. And also my family has kept dogs for generations. Dito lalong makikita ang sinserong paghanga ng ilan kay Hachi. Nakaaantig naman talaga ang kwento ng loyalty o katapatan na ibinuhos niya para kay Professor Weno. Pero may kwento rin akong narinig sa Japan na nakaiintriga at taliwas sa ilang detalye ng buhay ni Hachiko. Si Professor Masaru Mizuguchi nagtuturo rin sa parehong departamentong kinabilangan ni Professor Ueno. Kaya raw interesado siya sa naging buhay ng profesor at alaga nito. Sabi niya, hindi sumasakay ng train si Professor Ueno sa pagpasok sa trabaho, gaya ng inaakala ng marami. Malapit lang daw kasi noon ang skwelahang pinapasokan niya. Ang bahay naman ni Professor Ueno Nasa 300 meters ang layo sa Shibuya train station, sa tansya naman ni Mr. Saito. Sumasakay lamang ito ng tren tuwing papunta sa mga probinsya para sa kanyang fieldwork 
bilang agricultural scientist. Naniniwala rin sa Professor Mizuguchi na lalong lumagana pang kwento ni Hachiko noong 1930s dahil ginamit ito ng Japanese military para magturo ng loyalty o katapatan. Japan was preparing to fight to other countries or something. So the military uh, want to educate uh, people, especially uh, younger generation, to be supported by the younger generation. The Japanese uh, military uh, use that Hachi story for the education to the uh, children. Ilan sa nakausap namin, narinig na rin ang kwentong ito. I do not like the story when at the wartime Japanese military army used Hachi to show the loyalty to his, you know, Master. father. I don't know, I, I hate that story. Hachi maybe was a very good, very popular among the public and also very good tool for the military. Ayon din kay Professor Mizuguchi, may kwento rin daw mula sa matatanda na may isa pang dahilan kaya laging nasa train station si Hachiko. When I was also undergraduate students, my professor explained the reason why Hachi went to Shibuya station every day. According to that professor, Hachi liked the yakitori, baked chicken. When I hear that story, I I start to love Hachiko because Hachiko is it's not a god, faithful dog, normal, <laughs> usual dogs. So uh, that uh, starting point, uh, I like, I love Hachiko. Ibinahagi rin sa amin ng taga Hachiko Statue Preservation Society ang kwento ng kanyang ina na nakita mismo si Hachi na pagalagala sa Shibuya. My mother was born and grew up near Shibuya Station. According to my mother, she witnessed one dog catching something. Sa kabila nito, naniniwala pa rin daw si Professor Mizuguchi na hinihintay rin ni Hachi si Professor Weno. Maging ang iba naming nakausap, walang duda sa loyalty ni Hachiko. You do believe that he is a loyal dog. He was yes. loyal to yes. the professor. Yes. Mm-hmm. Dogs are loyal. Mm-hmm. That's why. They don't betray. I believe that in the world, dogs excel at forming special connections with humans. The bonds between dogs and people and the affection shared between humans and dogs are cherished globally. Hanggang kailan kaya tatagal ang alaala ni Hachiko? Ngayon lang ako nakadalo sa malaking selebrasyon tulad nito para sa birthday ng isang asong isinilang isang daang taon na ang nakalilipas. Hindi man dumating sa istasyon ng tren ang taong buong pasensya niyang hinintay. Napakarami namang handang maghintay para sa kanya. Tila ba ibinabalik ng mundo ang tahimik na pagmamahal na kinimkim niya? Tapos na ang paghihintay ni Hachi. Katsunone. Hachiko's connections with humans and the love that resulted from those interactions have indeed globally inspired profound emotion. Pero nag-iwan siya ng di malilimutang aral sa mundong kung minsan maligalig, taksil, at kapos sa pagmamahal. Magandang gabi, ako si Sandra Aguinaldo at ito ang Eyewitness. Eyewitness.